in the air um, and always have a permanent pivot foot. So for our right-handed players, their left foot is their pivot foot. We label their starts with their with a either direct drive or crossover. So a direct drive for a right-handed player is when I drive with my right hand and step with my right foot. A crossover is whenever I step with my right foot across my body and dribble with my left hand. We work on that a ton. Um, six finishes that we teach, three with a big advantage. That's an outside hand reach where I extend, an inside hand reach where I extend to the basket, or a reverse finish if, I, if I'm underneath it. Um, and then we teach three finishes off of a jump stop, which is just a power layup where I land, gather, and go back up. A shot fake where I step through by picking my outside foot up and scoring. And then another one where I'm going to go ahead, pick my inside foot up, pivot away, and shoot a baby jump shot. Dribble post-ups are also huge for our guards. Um, driving, losing their advantage late, keeping their dribble alive and turning it into a post-up. Um, and then obviously coming to balance stops inside the paint and being patient with pivots to find that fill pass or find that skip pass is really important for us as well. Um, let's see here. Again, just some video. This is, I think, even a year old, so it's not all dribble drive stuff, but you can kind of see how we want our players thinking shot off the catch. So that girl there catches it. It's a short closeout. She's putting it right up. This girl's a senior this year, a stud who just graduated. Um, but you can see here, she's thinking about shooting it before the ball even hits her hands making quick decisions if she has time and space. There you have her on that one down off a hit and a fill um, to go ahead and shoot that ball. There you have her on the snap action. Again, get the three right there. And then obviously if there's going to be any level of pressure, we want them to stop their shot, react to attack, go ahead and think about getting downhill. Um, so again, these are all things that we're teaching our players all fall long in player development of reading closeouts, assuming you're going to be open to shoot, losing the advantage, going ahead and driving it um, and just trying to go ahead and make those plays. So again here, like getting your eyes to the rim is huge. The last thing you'll see here, um, as they get better, we also let them, if they start to read that they're gonna drive before they catch it, then we let them get a running start. So you'll see some of that here where three is reading her defender before she even catches the ball and she's just gonna catch it with her feet already moving and go ahead and get downhill. Again, she's a beast. This is a great one out of transition. She just sees that her defender has a big...